Hey everybody and welcome. My name is Carlo Libertini. Glad to have you here on Music Marketing TV. And we've got something really cool for you. Now I'm a big fan of Baby Audio and yes, their latest plugin, Transit, is really making some waves here in the industry. Now I've taken some time to really work with this. I wanted to get to know its personality so we could actually dive right in today. So I'm really excited. Let's take a listen to a session. I've created a few sessions here with some different timbres and textures and instruments so we can really experiment and experience what transit can do for you. Let's take a listen. Now, in case you haven't heard, Transit is kind of a super tool plugin. It really streamlines multiple effects and their parameters so you can control them easily for more creativity. And that means you can do a lot more with very little. And who doesn't like that, right? So as far as being a workflow enhancement, this is incredibly thought out. Now, I believe it's in partnership with uh, Andrew Hung, if I pronounce your name right. And a super cool guy, by the way. I subscribe to him. Great stuff. And what it's basically doing is taking a certain number of effects modules and allowing you to manipulate the parameters within them to your settings. So in other words, it would really take you a very long time to do individually what this can do all compartmentally in this one application. So what we're looking at here is the transit plugin itself. Now I actually have it here on my drum bus. I also have it on some bass some keyboards, guitars. We're gonna dive right into each one of these uh, for different textures and behavior of this amazing plugin. So let's go to my drums and why don't we, let's solo the drums actually. Let's do some work here. Uh, let me mute all of these and Regardless of your DAW, it's going to work flawlessly. Okay, now to get started, remember, like all baby audio applications, the plugins always are guaranteed to sound great, but they come with quite an awesome amount of presets to really help jumpstart your creativity. Obviously, there's some here by Andrew Hung, who helped design and create this application. I think he said that there's over 300 presets to really get you started. Uh, and of course, I have my own user bank here for I started, you know, crafting my own. I mean, when you find something, here's my first tip for you. When you're working with transit and you stumble upon something that really works well for that instrument, save it right away. Uh, because a little can go a long way with this plugin, I noticed. That's my first tip for you. Definitely save it because uh, a little can go a long way. We're going to stick with one of Andrew's uh, presets here called Transition Echo Folder. And basically, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven modules in one transition control knob. All of these parameters can be dynamically controlled by this one transition knob. You can see as I increase the transition effect, a certain number of other parameters are dynamically moving too. And these can all be automated. So imagine the limitless power that Transit can offer you. I mean, this is already really groundbreaking. And you can get really granular and sync it to your host tempo, uh, your DAW, and you could even do looping with this if you want to use it in a live uh, scenario. So yeah, thank you, Baby Audio. Fantastic. Now let's look at some of this. For the drums in this example, let's take a listen to just drums. All the effects you're hearing are coming from transit. I've got a filter, I've got a delay here, some distortion, another filter, and some multiband compression here. So let's bypass transit on the drums, and here's the original files that we're working with. So you can tell we're doing quite a bit already. Let me bring my transit control down to zero, and let's bring it up to taste. Great. Here's without. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know a lot of engineers who've 
begun utilizing this already in their projects like myself. And there really is a, a smile effect that I seem to believe unanimously takes place amongst us all. Uh, so thank you to the developers. Um, really, really cool. As I said, this provides you a real advantage with your workflow. It would take a very long time to recreate this one insert at a time. Now, speaking of inserts here, uh, you have seven slots. You can actually choose from any number here, but only use one at a time. So you can have, it's another tip, you can't have five courses. It's either one course or one delay or one filter or pumping or tremolo, tremolo or reverb or spreading the effect like that. And again, they're just selectable right here in the header. You can also bypass the effect. You can also move the module for your signal flow. So you can put it anywhere you want in your signal chain here. So it's gonna hit the filter first, then delay distortion filter. So it's gonna go left to right, top to bottom. And then within that, you can have certain presets within each module. So as I mentioned before, we have presets here this kind of a global preset that saves a state of transit with all the modules and the parameter settings that you have. But within each, you can obviously choose unique presets within each module right here. You can just save them. Uh, I really love that. It gives you even more creativity. And as I said before, saving presets as you go along goes a long way, especially with transit, because a little can change quite a bit, as I'll show you in a minute. All right, and then we also have a randomize feature. So if you select randomize, it'll randomly automatically generate different parameters for you. And I love using this because as I said, it can really help jumpstart your creativity. But by increasing the effect with the transition control, uh, you find like a sweet spot too. So there's a real balance. It's kind of a dance that happens between all the modules and their settings. Now within each, obviously you can choose different parameters, the yellow, dots in the middle allow you to create motion dynamics with it and you can set the range for the motion here within each of the parameters and it'll stay within that selected range there that I just picked so if you want to add a dynamic movement then you would activate it like like so you want to turn it on or you could turn off the dynamic movement off again a little does go a long way. And each one of these modules includes uh, mixed controls, so you can blend in the amount too. You don't have to have everything all the way at, at once. All right, so let's have a little bit of fun now. All right, let's go to our distortion module. I'll give you another tip here. If you right click the bypass button, you're going to solo that module. Let's take a listen to just the distortion module. Again, right-clicking the, the module on-off button will solo the module. This is just a distortion effect. Bring it in, right-click again. So let's solo just a delay. And I love this feature, how you can right click the mute button to get the effect. Let's hear just the filter now. The only option I found is US filter on technology drive in Lowell, about 19 miles to your no. Siri. <laughs> Let's hear the multiband compression. This is a real fun plugin to use. I gotta tell you, when I first started um, with Transit, my mind was a little bit trapped in the, okay, wait a minute, this should be really familiar to me. I see delay, I see distortion, I see filters. But once you understand how they all work together as a family now, thanks to Transit plugin, it is an aha moment that I experienced and maybe you will too when you try it for yourself. And then again, you get that smile effect. Uh, just absolutely fantastic. So if you want to also invert the dynamic range, this is another tip. 
I like this. For example, if you go to, let's say our distortion module, and I solo that, if you right click, you can invert the dynamic range, here's another tip, and it'll really change the tonality because you're inverting the dynamic range. Let's try that. I inverted it. Let's bring in the delay. It sounds more wide on the delay effect. I like that. And obviously for more information on some of these tips and tricks, definitely read the manual. Baby Auto does a great job of presenting all of this information easily and super accessible within their manuals. So that's, that's always a good thing. All right, let's bring in some other instruments now. Let's go to our entire session and let's take a listen. There, I just brought transit in on the bass and the keys. I'm gonna mute the drums and let's work just with the transit bus there. I'll bring it in right there. Okay, now check this out. Now I've been bussing the effects here to transit and now I've got a bass groove and a keypad and I'm bringing them both to transit. And what I want to, what I want to do, here let me start it right there where it comes in. is this is a preset I created. Here's without. And here's with. And again, you can adjust the transition. So I'm using transit in this example with the bass guitar. We talked about drums earlier, now we're moved on to an instrument, uh, the bass instrument and I'm creating kind of a pad texture. But there's another mix in uh, advice for you is not only you get transition control, but you also have a mix slider here. Let's use the mix slider in this case to blend in between the wet and the dry signal. All right, let's bring up our mix slider. I like that. And of course, you'd have to blend in the taste with the other instruments in the tracks too. And if at any time you want to bring a parameter to default, just double click. And there you go. So by default, obviously, everything is set to 100% there. I'm going to bring that one down actually a little bit back to about 77%. So anytime you change a parameter, you want to bring it back to default, just double click on that parameter. Let's hear the keyboards now with that same pad effect. I'm going to resize the plugin. Another great feature with Baby Audio products. Just re grab it down there and bring it up. And you can also change the color between a dark mode and a light mode. Let's solo the delay here. And I'm going to change the tone. Make it a little darker. Make it brighter. And you can change the feedback if I didn't want uh, as many repeats. Let's increase the feedback. And find a happy medium. Let's bring in the other modules. So I'm creating a pad effect here with the keyboards using transit. Let's bring in all of the instruments now in this demo and see how they blend together. So again, you can see how we're building textures, we're creating movement with transit. 
and it's very easy and fun to use and the results are always always positive i just absolutely love this now because baby audio just makes great sounding plugins again you could and we're using these on our bus inserts so we're affecting a uh basically you could affect a group of tracks or just one track at a time like we were doing it's it's really just a, a nice way of maybe applying one effect. You could use it just a delay, just a chorus, just a reverbs here, or just a spreader, for example. Or if you wanted to create a pumping effect here, uh, here's the spreader. Let's actually go down here and take a look at some of these. So here's the auto pan module. Here's the bit crusher, a chorus. We obviously have a delay, here's distortion. Now the ones that are already highlighted mean that I'm using them and I can't apply them a second insert as I mentioned before. Filter 12, flanger, noise, a noise generator. All right, oscilloscope, phaser, shifter, then pumping, which would be some kind of like, you know, like a type of compressor action. Reverb, which sounds great. Spreader, really open things up a little bit there. And Tremolo, uh, and a utility for gain, panning, and tone. I like that. Let's try that again. Now, another thing I should mention here is at the top of the header, we have a randomized function, which will randomize all of the settings for you. And you can lock the parameters, because again, as I mentioned before, a little can go a long way. If you're not going to save your parameters as your as your mix progresses, you could actually lock them into place so that you can't make any accidents when you're moving your mouse around. So just by locking it like that, and there you go. And the next one is you could erase the chain and the effect state is at 0%. Okay, that's awesome. And then you could bypass the effect by selecting in the header right there. Again, a lot of the Baby Audio plugins have like a very familiar look and feel to each one of their their products. And so if you haven't used any before, I definitely recommend checking out more of the Baby Audio products. You can see that I'm also using their iHeart NY2 here on my bass guitar. Uh, and that's another one of my favorites. So speaking of which, I have another session here. We talked about using it as an insert as opposed to a bus effect. Uh, let's take a listen to this session now that I've got here. Something a little bit different that we can uh, we can have some fun with. Let me bring my loop marker in just a hair right about there. Now I've got some automation here. So as you can see, I've drawn in an automation lane here that is riding the transition knob itself in real time. Now you can go in and depending on your dog choice, how you create automation would be, you know, dependent on that dog. What I've done here on the guitar is created a wah effect. So I've got a filter, distortion, reverb, and the utility here. And it sounds great. So I'm taking the actual guitar jam and I'm sending it to the transition plugin right there. So it does work great as an insert on the bus, but how does it work as an insert on a direct effect? Well, let's try that now. You can see that my bass guitar here, I've put not only iHeart NY2, but I have transit as well. Mm -hmm. So here's the bass guitar before. Just a regular straightforward bass recording. Not too bad, but we want to give it some character. Let's bring in transit. So I talked about presets before. If you select the preset header, you can see there's a user bank. I always create a preset called 
clean start whenever I want to create a preset for myself. And I recommend you try this on your own. Again, under user, I, cle I just clear it out and give myself a clean start. And if I wanted to, I could actually start with the randomize button, which I mentioned before. And just by selecting randomize, <laughs> there's some there's some pumping right there. A little bit of noise added. So it's a randomizer for you. Let's go back to clean start. Now, if you wanted to create your own preset from scratch, obviously, let's say I wanted to add a little bit of grit to this. Well, there's a number of ways to do that. I could choose distortion. And you can randomize from within the insert itself, the module. Bring up the drive, ready? And let's add another module. How about some chorus? You might need headphones on to hear this effect. I'd adjust my transition knob there. So let's bring it down from zero and bring it up to taste. There it is. Okay, let's bring in the rest of the instruments. And don't forget our mix slider. Let's blend that in now for our wet dry mix on the bass guitar. I like that. And of course, you can automate almost any one of these parameters. And there you have it. So, what Transit has really brought to the industry is a way to do a lot within one streamline application, and who doesn't love that? Because it is all about workflow. But it really does inspire you to stay creative. I mean, with the many modules that are included and the ways you can tweak and affect parameters and making them uh, adjusting their movement or just keeping the motion on or off, it means you're experimenting your experimentation is, is near limitless. This has really helped inspire my creativity and I'm certain it's going to help inspire yours. But the best way, of course, is to really always find out for yourself. So this is a quick look at using transit on drums, bass, guitars, keyboards, a little bit of everything. But obviously it does so, so much more because it's gonna be up to you and your imagination and the kind of tracks you're working with. My name is Carlo Libertini. Again, the best way to find out is for yourself. Thank you, Baby Audio. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become part of our family today here at Music Marketing TV. Get access to over a thousand pro audio tutorials and audio production today, and we'd love to have you. All right, get busy and stay creative, everyone, and thank you for watching.